let's listen to this voice one. Um, so I don't know this artist, Kat Edmondson. How did you find her? So I just, I heard her on, you know, on PBS and started looking, looking her up. She has a unique voice. She's, a, she's played with a lot of big names, you know, Lyle Lovett. She's done some things with, nice. but she just, what I like is she's her own person. Okay. What do you think? What do you think, Dad? What's your? Well, I just I love this song uh, for a lot of reasons. I, I'm a piano player. I like how he interacts with her. Uh, he responds to what she's saying. Um, it takes a little while to kind of get used to the timbre of her voice, mm -hmm. but later on the song, she hits these high notes, and when she hits them, she lays off them. She doesn't hit them hard. She gets them way back, way off and really, really nails the notes. What do you think, Ibri, of something like this? I think it's fire. So when I first heard the voice, I'm like, yeah. so do you know the song, do you know the, the, the song, um, Strange Fruits? Southern Tree bear strange fruit i was shocked i was like whoa that's her voice <laughs> right yeah right. me too so I was too, yeah. like when she sings there's a sound and then when she hits those high notes there's a different sound but she like jim says she doesn't press the gas so it's it's impressive like yeah what it's it's like a, it's like her voice is maybe two different instruments like she yeah. might be able to how a, she might be able to do a lot. Like I feel like she has a, a good yeah. like a lot of range and a lot yeah. of control. So mm -hmm. that's yeah. cool for sure. Yeah. I feel like this singer has the influence, but it's not like she's trying too much to put a voice no. on. It feels like it's no. her voice. Yep, I think I would... so too. The lyrics are beautiful. Just like just as beautiful as the voice. But I love these lyrics mainly because it keeps reminding me of a student I had, and she was always different kids in class didn't like her she always had her hair different colors it's like for second third grade and she went on to be to sing you know in high school and, and i always thought you know if someone would just give her a chance mm. she would be okay she would she had those dreams and unfortunately she uh, got sick and passed away a few years ago mm. but uh, you know the, the idea of teaching is to give everybody their voice yeah. and if we don't do that we're not good so a good teacher so the piano behind it was just it was just enough it was like mm -hmm. yes. it wasn't too much it was everything had like a a place you know everything had a place and it was beautiful nothing was it wasn't too much right it was you, it was perfect i liked it did you guys notice the other instrument in there though i didn't well they brought a cello in didn't yeah. they the bass yeah there's a cello, cello. what's it I don't know if this is actually how they did it, but I since I play violin, I it's like they caught the um the bow hair. That sound is like kind of the high treble. Feels like they emphasized that part of the the bow. Yeah. Just, okay. just to get a texture, almost like a little warm blanket at the bottom. So at the very end, it's funny. I you can hear it. Uh, I know that it comes in here, and it's like the most subtle thing ever.
Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like yep. super subtle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a lesson in like you don't need a lot though, because it it's not like you were like, oh what a cool cello song. You were like, this is a great song, and then that just like I think oh, I think I think texture was a really good word, Chris. Yeah, like that's yeah. kind of like what, like now that you said that, it kind of all blends together for me. Like, no, texture is a really good word for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. 